Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and these are the market positions for September the 13th, 2017. Now our first trade for tonight is going to be in the Forex market. We're looking at the New Zealand US dollar pair. Now the US dollar has been on a bit of a rally this week uh, with against the yen and it's pushed the euro lower but predominantly the US dollar remains pretty soft here guys. We've got a fresh triple EMA cross from vantage point taking place at or around this critical 18-day predicted moving average at 72.42. We can see that our neural index has moved higher. Our predicted short, medium, and long-term differences, along with our strength indicator, are all breaking above the zero line. Now, our predicted MACD, we do have a crossover, albeit below the zero line, but I would look for that to advance above that zero line in the days ahead. Based around the predicted RSI, we have momentum building to the upside on this, predict on this particular commodity currency. So when I look at these things, I also want to make sure that we're checking our individual predicted moving average crossovers. We can see our short term looks good off this range bottom here coming in about 71.40. We can see that again our medium term crossover is advancing and our long term crossover is certainly the one that has caught my eye. Now when we look closer at this long term crossover over a three month period we can see that there's very few of them. Three to four over a three month period. So whenever a long term crossover from vantage point occurs it's very seldomly wrong so we're only two days into this a lot of activity right around this 7241 area so from here guys we know all we have to do is go into that all-important daily report to fine-tune our entry point for tomorrow now once again to remind everybody that this video is being produced at 6 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday evening ahead of the Asian market open and ahead of the UK and the North, Amer North American session for the, for the trading on the 13th. So again, everything is ahead of the market. Currencies always move up and down throughout the day, usually within a 1% value of uh, 1% of their value. So when we look at this for tomorrow, we're looking for a pullback to 72.53. We're then going to target 73.31. Now, if this long-term crossover can start to get moving, we can assess that usually on a long-term crossover, we've seen upwards of two to 300 pips. Now, New Zealand US is a very slow moving pair, so be patient with it and keep all stops below 7140. Now, our second trade for tonight is gonna to be in the US technology sector. We're looking at the Corning, the GLW stock, excuse me. Uh, so what we're looking at here is a again, a fresh triple EMA cross to the upside. Our neural index is turning higher. Our predicted short, medium, and long-term differences, the position against the zero line, basically they're at trend-ready levels. We have our predicted MACD crossing the trigger several weeks ago, and it's a slow move, but we're moving uh, to break above that zero line. Now, our predicted RSI here, once again, guys, I want to point out that the predicted RSI using it as a 60-40 split. You can see how I have this. At 60.6, .6, this tells me that this is at trend-ready levels, that momentum is building on this particular stock, and we could be getting ready for a significant move to the upside. Now, this stock was at $32 per share just a, a few short months ago. When we look at our individual crossovers, short-term is good, medium-term is very good, and our long-term is very good. So it's telling me that basically, if we can clear this little bit of a channel we've been caught in for the last several weeks. Now, if I outline this, you can see it's getting a very tight little channel. And once again, this is a, a very neat trick I do with my own direct clients. We will, uh, not only do I recommend buying high at certain times, but a lot of times, guys, that can be an easier trade when we're using the vantage point indicators and identifying a channel or a, a very narrow range top and range bottom. So if we can push through this $29 per share mark, effectively, we could be looking at a significant break higher. So from here, all we have to do is once again, fine tune our entry point for tomorrow. With that close of 29.15, we're looking for a very minor pullback tomorrow at 29.01. We then target 29.31, but on a bigger, we always wanna look for a bigger move on a short term position. So in my, in my respectful opinion, uh, I think that this is a reasonable 
reasonable stock to hold. It's had a bit of a sell-off here. Corrective move. Now we're moving back up. So with any luck, we'll be able to move higher this time on the next move up above $32 per share. But we want to make sure that all stops here, guys, very important that we understand stop loss placement. We want to make sure that all stops are below this well-known range bottom here. So keep your stops down around 28.10 or even 27.90. And then ultimately, we want to target back up towards this uh, $32 per share mark or potentially higher.